Hey, welcome back for our tropical update. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson, and this is where we get to dive into things and sort of talk a little bit more in detail about what's happening out there in the tropics. And we've been able to talk about a wave that's out in the Atlantic and Spoiler alert, we're done with that one. But there is some other things that we're a little bit curious about, and it's actually closer to home, home being the United States, than what was out in the Atlantic. So let's kind of dive into things just a little bit, as uh, we are uh, certainly going to be uh, looking at some possibilities. Let me back that up to uh, my other clicker here so that we get the right graphics showing. Here we go, there's our tropical map that we were looking for. Gulf is looking good for now. The Caribbean also looking good. And we were talking about the fact that there was that tropical wave that's out there. This wave we've been really tracking as it's been moving across the Atlantic. And now it's being uh, moved into some much less favorable areas for possible development. So this is kind of what's left of that mess. Even if it were to just really stretch and actually get a little bit more organization to it. All indications are that this is gonna stay down in the lower latitudes and just kind of move through the southern portions of the Caribbean. So it's not something that we're expecting to really have any sort of impact on the US. So probably not gonna make it into the Gulf. And that again would be a stretch and you could kind of just see how it has really very little uh, hope or signs that it becomes organized. Now, on the other hand, much closer to the coast of the United States in the Gulf. Look at this little bit of a swirl happening here with this cluster of storms and moisture that has moved through. This is the exclusive Fox weather model, and it's a little aggressive with this particular system. So it's still a little time out to kind of have time to look at it. And I am looking much later in the week. This is at about Thursday evening when we're looking at the particular uh, issue right now. And what we're seeing is a lot of Gulf moisture that's been moving across Florida and across our northern portions of the Gulf. This is a pattern very similar to what we saw last week. And if you're here in Houston, that rain that we had on Friday, that's what it turned out being. Now we do have rain in the forecast for this Friday here in Houston, but this uh, moisture, this Gulf uh, moisture that we're watching and the Fox weather model is gonna take it a little bit further to the south. And that would be the case, I think, if it becomes somewhat organized. If it stays just kind of unorganized and showers and storms, I think we end up getting more rain here in the Houston area as opposed to it kind of heading down to the south closer in to Mexico. So again, a lot of that is a little bit of a stretch at this point. We don't have any kind of closed circulation at the surface, which our computer models love, but otherwise we just kind of continue to watch that system. Now let's get to some current satellite and radar. Here's all that moisture that I was kind of talking about that's out there right now. And you'll notice this lack of rain that's all through uh, Louisiana and the central portions here of the U.S. That includes us here in Houston. That's that ridge of high pressure. That's what's squashing all the rain chances. And remember, the high pressure has clockwise rotation. So as that rotation goes around that high pressure, here's that moisture that's kind of getting wrapped around the high pressure. And that's what's going to pull this moisture back in to the Gulf. And the bulk of this moisture is actually the same tropical wave. It's the same kind of cluster of showers and storms that did move through the Gulf last week. And it just rotated around this same bit of high pressure. It took a week and now it's back. Now we're talking about it again. And as I mentioned, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but certainly sort of the possibility that that could be a little bit more organized. There's definitely quite a bit of rain that's kind of working its way in here, and it's going to move across Florida, and it's going to move across those, those, the northern Gulf and those Gulf Coast states. And when we take a look at our seven-day rainfall expectations, now I know it's sometimes a little bit hard to see you there at the house exactly where the coastline is, but the coastline is to the north of all of this bulk of moisture. That's where things, again, kind of continue to stay 
a lot of rain out there and we'll have to see if it's going to continue to move in more towards the Houston area for us. Just real quick, in the month of July, when we're looking for hurricane formations, we're looking for things to start happening close in to the coast, and we don't usually have a lot of time on that. But when we switch to August, which we're kind of getting there, we start to watch out into the Atlantic a little bit more. So that's why that wave out in the Atlantic was a little bit unusual in the fact that it was a little early for that. Just a quick reminder, my hurricane gear test is a great way to stay uh, thinking about hurricane preparedness, to get yourself ready. If you're watching on YouTube, real easy, just click up in the search bar, meteorologist John Dawson or hurricane gear test, and you'll be able to see that page and that playlist and see some of those. If you're watching on our other platforms, when you find yourself on YouTube next, go ahead and get a chance to do that. That's going to go ahead and do it for our tropical update today. Of course, we're here every day of hurricane season. We'll plan to see you back here again tomorrow.